Welcome to video three of my starting a WordPress blog series. In this video, we'll actually be installing the WordPress application to your web server. The hosting platform that I'm using for this video and all my subsequent videos is GoDaddy. So you'll get a first-hand look at navigating GoDaddy. I'll give you an overview of the cPanel application that resides within GoDaddy. And finally, we will install the WordPress application to our web server. All right, let's get started. So I have logged in to my GoDaddy account, and this is what you'll see, which is pretty similar to the web page you'll see if you are just visiting the account. The only difference up here is you can see I'm logged in with my account. And if you click the little drop down arrow here, you will see some links to get to certain areas of GoDaddy's site, whether you want to manage your domains, use their website builder, manage hosting, or your SSL certificates. And we want to manage hosting, so let's just click on that. And this will be the domain that you use to register your uh, hosting account. Uh, and in my case, I have a hosting account that lets me host multiple, multiple websites. So I want to manage that. And what that will do is take us to the cPanel application. Now cPanel is short for control panel. This gives you a variety of tools to manage your hosting account. And we will walk through these here really quickly. Uh, from here, you can upgrade your hosting package, as I referred to in my previous video. Uh, and you can see some utilization statistics for your current shared hosting server. So um, I, you can see uh, for my blogs that I'm hosting on GoDaddy, CPU utilization is non-existent right now. Uh, here's my memory utilization, um, number of processes running, inputs, outputs, my file usage, and disk space that I'm currently using. So it gives you a quick little snapshot on web server statistics. You can also delve into a file manager and see all of the various files on your site. Um, uh, you can set up your FTP accounts, you can do backups, um, a number of video tutorials here, getting started. So if you're new, you might want to check some of those out. Uh, database applications, web applications, which we will come back to here. You can um, create subdomains, add-on domains, do redirects. A lot of these are advanced features that you're not ever going to need to use. Uh, you can set up email and filters, autoresponders, forwarders. If you want to see metrics on who's accessing your site, um, you can see the raw logs. Um, AW Stats is a, another statistic analyzer. Uh, just a lot of stuff here that you can use uh, within the control panel. The thing that we are going to be focused on right now is the web application section. And what we want to do is we want to install a WordPress blog. And uh, these different applications are all uh, various applications that you can install with a shared hosting plan. For our purposes here, we are sticking with WordPress. So let's click on that and you will come to a WordPress installation screen. And all you need to do in this case is install the application. And we want to do that. So let's click on install. So this is the installation screen and it is going to ask you a number of questions uh, on where it wants you to install this application. 
um, what version you want to install and some other various questions that we'll go through here. And if you're not really sure what to do, it gives you some nice little instructions. So in, in our case here, I have a domain that I've already registered and I want to install my WordPress blog within that domain as part of that domain. So you simply click on the drop down here and you can see the different domains that I've got registered here within GoDaddy. And what I want to do is I want to install it here at this domain writing a triumph. And the second question it's asking me is if I want to install it in a specific directory. And if you come down here, you'll see what that directory will look like. So if I was accessing a blog, um, if I was an external user trying to access that blog, the URL I would type would be that right here. I really don't want that. I want to install it at the main root which is this, and you can see it just defaulted to that when I deleted this here. So you can add a directory if you, if you want to. I prefer to install it as part of the, the main root right here. And that's all you need to do from a location perspective. The version you can select, well in this case it's not even letting you select, it's giving you the current version of WordPress, I believe it's 4.8.1. Uh, you can always upgrade that within the WordPress application itself. I want to uh, install it in the English language. End user license, you will accept that. Automatic updates, um, you can select to not do automatic updates. Um, automatically update to any version. I prefer to update to minor versions and security releases automatically. That way I don't ever have to worry about a new security version coming out that I'm not aware of if I haven't logged into my account in a while. Plugins, we'll talk about that in a later video. I do not want to automatically update WordPress plugins and we will discuss that in our plugin video. I do not want to update themes. Um, and then uh, automatic update backup, create a backup and automatically restore the backup if the update fails. Probably a good option to keep selected. And then if we go down to the settings page, you'll see you will give your blog an administrator username and password here. And you can see it defaults to a username and a password for us. So we are going to change that and in our case here, let's call it rat admin, rat for writing a triumph. And the administrator password will be something secret here. Administrator Email is uh, the email address that you can use for your blog to receive notifications. I do not know if you need that, if that's required. Uh, apparently you do. And let us put a dummy email. And you can always change these settings once you log into your WordPress account, uh, default website title, tagline for your WordPress site. Again, all of this can be changed. Um, yes, we want to limit failed login attempts. Um, that way, if someone is trying to hack you, once they hit a specific limit, it will lock them out. In multi-site mode, you do not need to worry about that. And for advanced settings, let's just leave it as automatically manage advanced settings for me. Click on the install button, 
and let's let it do its magic. You can see down here it is processing. And this is going to take a few minutes to run, so we will let this do its install and we'll come back when that's completed. So I let this run over, oh gosh, close to 15 minutes and it was still in this processing mode and I had gone out to take a quick look, which was very odd. It should not take nearly that long. And when I pulled up the URL, I saw that my blog was installed. So what I did is I did a quick uh, refresh on that installation page and it, it came back to uh, refresh the page. And if we scroll down here, we see that our writing a triumph blog is now active out there with WordPress. And if you look at it, you can see what version we're at, how many files are out there, the size of it, that it was installed today and updated today. So that was some sort of anomaly that WordPress or that GoDaddy seemed to be having. Um, it really shouldn't take any more than a couple of minutes to let that uh, installation take place. So what you see here for your blog that we just installed is the URL where you can find it and the administration page where you can access that from. So let's do this and if we click on this URL here, it'll open up a new tab and take us to um, a getting starting wizard, which appears to be new. I have not seen this before. So we're, we're not going to go through the wizard. We're just going to log in and let that run itself. And what it'll do by accessing it from the cPanel site, it will log into this automatically for you. And you can start your configuration. We're not going to configure things here. We will address the configuration of your WordPress blog in the next video. But I just wanted to show you that uh, you can access your blog once it's been installed directly from the cPanel site by clicking this uh, URL here. So like I said, in the next video, we'll talk about starting the configuration of our blog and that will carry through a few more videos as we add plugins and start configuring those plugins and eventually start creating posts. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I hope you found this helpful. Feel free to leave a comment below with any questions you might have and uh, I'll get back with you uh, as soon as I can.